Hi there. Welcome to our mathematics class today. We want to discuss uh, sequences and series. We will start with the uh, AP, or what is also called arithmetic sequence. The objective for today is to obtain a formula for the nth term of an AP. Uh, that is any term. If we want to get the fifth term, sixth term, tenth, or any, any, any term, we would like to arrive at a formula which we can apply straight away to get that. I have picked on um, a very simple sequence. Uh, this one, uh, we have two, four, six, eight, and we can move on like that. And we must say here that a sequence is simply a number pattern. If you look at uh, the sequence I have put here, we are, we are starting with two, then we are going to four, then six, then eight. It is easy to see that from the first term, which is two, to the next term, there is a difference of two. To the next term, again, there is a difference of two. We can go working out the difference, two. The difference here is also two. And the same way with uh, this one. So it is possible for us to go on. Like it is very clear that the number we, which we can put here so that there is a difference of two between these two is 10. So in a number, in a number sequence like this one, we can predict the next term after having identified uh, what the difference is. This type of sequence is called an arithmetic sequence. Now, the, the difference which we are getting between the second term and the first, the third term and the second, the fourth term and the third is called the common difference. So in this case, our first term, which we normally represent um, with the letter A, our first term, that is term number one. Our term number one can also be represented by the letter A. And in this case, it is two. We have said there is a common difference. That is, uh, when you take the second term, subtract the first term, you get two. The third term, subtract the second, we also get two. That difference uh, is normally represented by the letter D, and in this case, again, is two. We want to look at the relationship between the terms. We have said the first term, in this particular sequence, is two. Then we look at the second term. Term number two is four. We know it's four, but we can also write it as two plus two. And for purposes of getting the formula, let's say two ones, two times one. The second term equals the first term. We got the first term as two plus two times one. Once we do this several times, we will see a pattern. And from the pattern, hopefully, we can come up with a formula. So let's see the third term. Again, you can see the third term in this case is six. And we can also uh, give it the same approach. We can say it is the first term plus uh, two times two. That is the third term equals the first term plus two times two. We can go on like that, and maybe it's possible now to predict what the fifth term will be. 
he can go on like this and predict the fifth term. I hope you can see that it will be 2 plus 2 times. Now looking at these earlier ones, the second term was the first term plus 1 times the common difference. And you can see the relationship between 2 and 1. We are looking for the second term, and yet we are talking of one. Here we are looking for the third term, and we are talking about two. Two times the common difference. Second term is first term plus one times the common difference. The fifth term, therefore, will be the first term plus four times the common difference. We can therefore get any term we want with the same argument. Remember the terms we had in the sequence here? The first term was 2, the second was 4, the third was 6, the fifth, let's look at the fifth term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth term was 10. Is that what we are getting from our observation? and clearly it's what we are getting. Maybe we can go on here. The next term, the sixth term will be 12. The seventh term will be 14. Let's see whether the same pattern can give us what we are expecting. The sixth term, term number six, will be two added to uh, five times the common difference. And this, uh, let's see, that gives us 12. Is that what we've said is going to be? The one, two, three, four, five, the sixth term is 12. So it appears like there is a pattern. And we can uh, generalize this uh, pattern as follows. We want the term in whatever position. It can be, if we wanted the sixth term, we, we got it here. It is the first term plus 6 minus 1 times the common difference. The fifth term is the first term plus 5 minus 1 times the common difference. And therefore, whichever term we want, it will be obtained from the first term plus common difference multiplied by the position of the term we want subtract 1. And therefore, this is the formula that can be used to give us any term of this sequence. We can maybe start by getting an, a, a term which is very close here. Let's get the seventh term. We want to get the seventh term. Find the seventh sum of the sequence of the AP, sometimes we call it the arithmetic progression. You can use the word sequence or progression. Sequence, you know, generally means order. These uh, terms are in a particular order, and that's why we are calling them uh, either a progression because there is the increase. Because of the common difference, there, there seems to be an increase. By the way, there can also be a decrease. Uh, so, 2, 4, 6, 8. And the solution? We identify the first term. You can say here A is 2. The common difference. How do we get the common difference? We take the second term minus the first term, or the third term minus the second, or the fourth term minus the third, like that. So let's just take um, the third minus the second, and that gives us six minus four, which is two. And then we look for the term we are being asked for, the which, which term, the seven, therefore n, 
is seven. And all we need to do now is to substitute that in the formula. And that gives us, therefore, that term number seven is equal to the first term, which is two plus D, the common difference, we have got it as two into n minus one. We are looking for the seven, so seven minus one. And therefore, we, we have it as two plus uh, 12, and therefore this gives us 14. So the seventh term in our sequence is going to be 14, and we can confirm that. This is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth is going to be 12, seventh is going to be 14. And therefore, our formula is giving us uh, the correct or the expected term. I have chosen on a very simple uh, sequence, but the formula applies to even those that would have large figures or even smaller figures, even fractions, as long as it's an arithmetic sequence. We are going to stop there for now. Make sure you subscribe so that we can do more examples in the next uh, video. And also look at how we can get the sum of any number of terms of an arithmetic sequence.